This afternoon, we're also learning that dozens of animals displaced during the quarry fire are now going home. Your reporter Ashley Portillo spoke with caretakers and the nonprofit volunteers organizations that tend to these animals down at the Jefferson County Fairgrounds. They said this news certainly a big relief. As mandatory evacuation orders were lifted, I think it's a mix of emotions. Animal stalls at the Jefferson County Fairgrounds began and clearing out. Today is a really happy day. People will be coming in throughout the day and evening to pick up their their furry friends, well, and feathered ones. Allie Harmon is one of the many volunteers with the Jefferson County Horse Council and emergency evacuation team. They've been helping around the clock taking care of about 260 animals since the quarry fire started. Documenting who's coming in, getting all of the animals tagged, a lot of behind the scenes stuff that's happening. But you know, it's, it's also very stressful, um, very stressful on the animals. When you hear the adage, it takes a village, it really does. There you go. The crew here has just been absolutely fantastic. Steve Barber is Puma's caretaker. So I've been coming down here to get him some exercise and, you know, uh, you know so he's a little bit less stir crazy. But until pre-evacuation orders are lifted, he'll be keeping Puma at the fairgrounds. You know, there could be a flare up. You just don't know. As for the Jeffco Horse Council, the nonprofit has jumped in during evacuations 28 times since 2000. This time, though, many more species showed up. There was a lot of new things for us as far as trying to build perches for chickens or wading pools for ducks, making little mud bath areas for the pigs. So community donations of food, bedding and supplies will better prepare them for the next emergency. We know that this isn't the last one. Um, I wish it was, but um, there will be more to come and, and we want to be make sure that we're ready. Well, Ashley Portillo reporting there for us, and we so appreciate everyone's work down there. The nonprofit Jeffco Horse Council is still in need of donations if you want to help out. Meanwhile, families who are out of pre-evacuation status are asked to pick up their animals as soon as they can. If you are still in the pre-evacuation status, you can leave your animals at the Jeffco Fairgrounds until that order is lifted.